Hi there, Sharps1874 here, and I want to talk about the age-old question, which is better? Do I want to go 223 and go with an, an AR-style rifle? Do I want to go 762 and go with something like an AK-47? So we've got two different rounds. One goes really fast and is pretty accurate. One hits like a sledgehammer. Question one. Question two. Do I want some kind of a um, assault type rifle with, a, oh, let's say a folding stock like this one, this Butler Creek folding stock, 30 round magazine. Or do I want something more utilitarian, like something like, like this particular rifle? Now, some of you are thinking, is this a trick question? Well, of course it's a trick question. Let's talk about these two rifles just for a second. This is a Mini 14, or as, as is advertised by Ruger, a ranch rifle chambered in 223. This will shoot either the Remington 223 or it will shoot your regular um, uh, military grade AR type uh, ammunition. It's got very interesting front sight. It's got a peep sight. We'll show you just a little uh, in just a minute, but it comes in a, a folding stock. The thing that's interesting about, and the thing that I like about, the ranch, style, ranch rifle, put that over there where, where it won't fall, what I like about the ranch rifle is the action that's on it. Okay, now, what about the other rifle? This thing right here, this is the same thing. This is also a ranch rifle. Let me take the clip out. Excuse me, let me take the magazine out. It's not a clip, it's a magazine. And let's just show you a little bit about what this is. So, as we're talking about, there is a, a flip-up peep sight. This is the Mini 30. The Mini 30 is chambered in 7.62 by 39, so it's the um, AK-47 round. And if you look at the action, this is the same type of action as on the old M1s. As the slide comes back, it rotates the, uh, the bolt. If you want, you can bring it back and depress it. That'll hold it back. Very, very reliable gas operated. This particular type of action was, like I said, used in the M1 and saw action in World War II and was just absolutely a standout performer. Okay, so, do you want an assault rifle or do you want a ranch rifle? You can actually have both. So just a little bit more, here's, the, here's what the safety is right there. You pull this back, it's kind of hard to do with it. Uh, I have to make it look hard. Wow, this one is hard. It's much easier if you don't have the pistol grip on. All right, so you pull this back. This flips up out of the way. And then it slides right out. You take off the folding stock. You can see the inner workings. Here's your, uh, your your piston. Comes back and forth. The inner workings of the of the rifle. And all you do is you put on your regular old walnut stock.
put the trigger assembly back in. Of course, it's always easier to put the trigger assembly back in when you're not filming yourself. Or if you sit down. Now, the older um, Mini 14s and Mini 30s had a screw right here and on this side to lock it in. The newer ones don't have those. I've taken those out just so it would be easy to show how uh, easy it was to put the folding stock on. But, but there's, the, there's the screw. Mini 14, Mini 13 come with integrated um, scope ring mounts and they actually come with this with the scope rings you don't have to pay extra for them and yeah I, I won't take time to do it now but it simply it goes on very very simply and you've gone from an assault rifle to a ranch rifle You can shoot a 30 round, you can shoot a 10 round, they have 20, 20 rounds for both, Mini 14, Mini 30. Um, for my money, it's a really cool way to go. Now it doesn't mean that one day I won't get myself a, um, an AR style rifle, but right now I can shoot either round, the AK round or the AR round in my ranch rifle and if I want I can make it look like an assault rifle and it'll be tactical. I'm Sharp, Sharps 1874 and I thought you might like to know.